Hey, what's up guys? It's Mike from Budget Gaming. Uh, today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're not going to be on the Xbox today. We are playing Hearthstone. Uh, Hearthstone is a free-to-play game on the Blizzard app on the computer. And it is a digital card game based on the Blizzard world. Okay. So this is my first video on Hearthstone and I was playing a bit earlier and I played a bit when it first came out um, but I'm not too great so I want to show you my shaman deck that's the deck we're going to be highlighting today here's the list so it's a knife juggler deck um, which means after you summon a minion, you deal one damage to a random enemy. It could be an enemy minion or the enemy hero. Uh, so basically I just summon a bunch of stuff and it's pretty cohesive. I like it. Um, I'm gonna play a couple of casual games. If I'm on a streak, maybe I'll throw in a ranked. While this is loading, I would like to say if you wait until the end of the video, uh, I'm gonna have some information on a special giveaway. Uh, so be sure to check that out. So if you've never played Hearthstone, you make a deck and each hero has its own ability. So this is going to be my starting hand. Uh, you start with one mana and every turn you gain one up to ten. So I don't want to start with anything too high um, in my deck. And this is really a late game card as well. So I'm actually going to replace all three of those. Perfect. I got my knife juggler. I got my one drop here. Uh, I'm going second, so I get to have a coin. So on my turn one, I'm actually going to have two mana. So I'm going to do a cheeky little knife juggler there. So we're going to hope One shot. that One that does it. Kill. Perfect. Now we can attack here. So the bad part about Knife Juggler is that it is random. You don't get to choose who the one damage goes to. But most of the time it happens in your favor. Ooh, that's a good card. That's fair. Ooh. So she's playing spell damage. Direct damage. Okay, he's gonna fireball and then attack. That's also fair. Perfect. One of the biggest things about this game is to be mana efficient. So if you see down here, I use all five of my mana. Um, sometimes you can't. Sometimes you'll be short one. That sucks. Okay. Yes, me and Mr. 
So with all these summoning creatures, I would love to have a knife juggler out. It's the bad thing about playing him early. He's very easy to get rid of. That was good. 2-2. Behold the might of Stormwind! And now because this is frozen, uh, I can't attack. So just play my card. Let it go. That's fair. Made her waste a spell. I have an answer for the 7-7. Seven, seven. I can turn him into 0-1 and deal with him right away. I'm scared of the copies that he's getting. Um, could honestly be anything at this point. Same thing again, then we'll we'll have a problem. That's that's no problem. There's zero twos. I can get rid of that with this. That's an issue. Ooh, and I got knife juggler, so that's gonna be next turn. So we can take care of this this turn. Could have put Knife Juggler out there. It's a target, though. If she had something to do two damage, that'd be the first thing she did to it. Um, more benefit next turn because I can do that, that, and my special. So, Knife Juggler. This guy. This one heals all of them, so these are back up to two, uh, which is good, especially against a mage. Yep. So now, no matter what I get, give me a quest. Do that. I have too many minions. Uh, what's that? One. Three to one. Yeah. I need to kill one. So, Suck get rid of this. Oh. Free of that blasted tower. Behold, join or die, or both. Cry 
Quest accepted. There we go. Just finish her off. Had me a little worried in the beginning, but honestly, I got those uh, hex cards. Perfect timing. Alright, so. Let's do another casual. Now there's tons of heroes on this game, and each hero has their own ability. You saw the mage, you paid 2 mana, and it did 1 damage to a target. The shaman uh, is paid 2, and you get a random totem. Uh, there's a list of totems that it could be. This is a great hand. Again, I'm going second, so I'm going to have the coin. Hopefully he's not trying to do the same thing, because I'm sure there's a more efficient way to do it than my deck list. I'm using mostly basic cards. Now hopefully he doesn't have something to do 2 damage. He could. There's, I'm sure there's a 2 mana spell to deal 2 damage to a creature. Um, I'm not sure if Shaman would have it. I know they have a 3 deal 3. And it looks like he doesn't. Which is good for us. Because um, what we're actually going to do here is... Once he gives us the turn... Hit and turn. Little time. Thank you. So now we can get rid of this. And we can play this, which triggers this twice. Dealing straight to him because there's no other targets. <coughs> That's a good card gonna kill them all. Good play, good play. I guess we'll get our Murloc out here. Take two to the face. Apparently he's already paid two mana for something. I must have looked away. Uh, oh, I don't know. All right, that's, that's a fair play. Um, we're gonna do something a little better than that, though. We're gonna get rid of it. Play like this. So what this does is, uh, at the end of my turn, if I cast a spell, I can cast cast a spell you've cast this turn. So if I cast a spell, I get to cast it again with random targets, um, which is good and bad depending on what the spell is. Uh, this one doesn't have targets, so it's just going to do it all over again. But if I hex someone and then I rehex the same person, that's going to kind of be bad. Okay, he got, he got silenced anyway. That's not really the point of the deck, this one, so I would have waited for a knife juggler. He already saw the knife juggler. Um, got five mana. 
put this one out. We'll put this one out. And we will take that one down. Take this one out. There. So now what my plan is to do is to cast the Ancestral Spirits, which will bring it back when it dies, on him. Hopefully next turn he'll still be alive. And that way when he gets summoned back he will no longer be silenced and that ability will take effect. Um, it's actually really good to use with Ancestral Spirits because you can bring back multiple people. Um, but, that's okay. A zero one, one easy to deal with. So you got two damage, some of the basic totem. No problems yet. Draw two Murlocs from your deck. That's kind of going to suck. Um... I might hex it. I don't want him to draw those Murlocs. Murlocs are typically things that get powerful the more Murlocs you have. So, uh, drawing two whenever that dies, no bueno. Plus, they've still got a hex. Uh, in the mid, just in case. Now the defender. That's a good card. It's a good card as well. And give him taunt. Well... We'll just do this. And then we'll do this. Give it a shot. Playing a shaman deck is very much control. Uh, at least the way I do it. Good, good card. Good hex. Double hexed. Ooh. I don't know about that. So creatures with defend can still attack, so I'm still benefiting from the the flame tongue here. Um, I guess we get another totem. Okay. Give it a shot. And just for fun, we'll play that on there. That way, if he decides to kill this to get their attack down, it'll come back and it'll at least give someone else. Ooh, okay, 214. Um, that really doesn't mean anything to us, because I'm just going to do that. should be no way for him to come back with only three life unless he has some some magic card that restores his life to full uh, okay yep I was gonna say you could board wipe but even that I mean that's a, a stretch so that's the deck in casual what if we played ring This is perfect. Even more perfect. Alright, so I'm not going to play anything on my first turn. And then second turn will be Knife Juggler. Mm, I don't like that either. I kind of want to do it now. 
and greedy. Hopefully he can't get rid of it. Okay, he did that. Fantastic. So now I can do that. Perfect. Sadly, this deck counters that deck because he makes 1-1s one and this guy deals 1 damage. So, as long as I can keep him out. Again, that's fair. That one worked out pretty good. If you notice the combo, I sent this out, did one damage, brought it down to five. Sent this out, brought him back, replayed him, brought him down to four. Cast the Ancestral Spirit to get him back if he died, and then killed both of these guys trading with him. She came back. Sadly, the Battle Cry doesn't work again whenever you replay it like that, but uh, it is what it is. So now I have enough to do this. And this the frost will stand ready. I'll give it a shot. Can trade here. Challenge accepted. Now he's got a full hand and I don't. So I do have a board wipe though. That's not ideal. Throw it like a butterfly. Sting like a bee. We're going to do that now. Two. And attack, attack, taunt, and a totem. Should have towed him first, because had I gotten that one, which I had no idea of knowing, 
then it would have done even more damage. I don't think it would have mattered too much. That's a big guy. It's a bit of a waste, but it got the big guy out. Justice. Ugh. He's just got so many big cards. Fair, they all trade. He can get me in two turns. Ah, the holy light, man. I just, he's healing too much for me. If we get super lucky here, do four, do four. Yes. Wow, we got lucky. I don't usually get lucky like that. Demands retribution. Ready to ride. Reporting for duty. So we're both top deck in. Both have 11 cards left. I know I still have a knife juggler left, so I might be able to do this. I've got the advantage on the health. Well 
Mm, Alright. That's that's it for that one. Reporting for duty. I have another board wipe. should take those two, kill that, hit me directly. Oh, that works too. Really? That's bold. Well played. That's why. Wasn't bold at all. It was just held secret. Thank you. Held on there for quite a bit. I got three packs. So I've got nine packs total. So let's open these. Oh, there we go. Gotta drag it. Deal one damage to this minion and summon a one one. Three six with taunt. Draw a card. Deal damage equal to its cost. That's pretty good. Deal two damage to a minion if it survives. Draw a card. Choose one. Plus five attack or plus five health and taunt. Wow, that's for a druid. Maybe on the next video we'll make a druid deck. Let's see. Give a damage minion plus three plus three. That's pretty good for a warrior priest. Start your turn. Restore three health to damage from the ally character. Deal two damage to two random enemy minions. Equip a two two weapon. Transform into a four four recharge or four six with taunt. Man, we're getting some druid cards. Random demon to your deck. Your cards and powers that restore health now deal damage instead. That's crazy. When your heroes attack, gain eight armor. That's pretty good too. Uh, deal three damage to your hero. Give a friendly minion plus three health. Here, destroy it. That's pretty good. Got one of those already. That's pretty good for Paladin. It's really good for Paladin. That goes with our Night Juggler deck. Uh, more late game, which is pretty cool. Got another return, so you can do more trickery with that. That's pretty good, too, for someone that kills off their own creatures. Priest. Silence all enemy minions. That's crazy. So if you're playing against an effect deck, that would do some damage, because you take all the effects of the cards away. That's what that Paladin just played on me in the last game. It's really good. That's what a priest did on me earlier. Changed a 110 into a 1010. That's pretty good. I like the randomness uh, of, like, Demolisher and Knife Juggler. Pretty fun. A Wisp. Cult Master. Alright, two more. And then we'll check out the shop. Copy two cards from the opponent's deck. Add them to your hands. Charms. Whenever a secret is played, gain plus one, plus one. I wish I had more secrets, because the secret deck would be fun. I'm, I think it's a Hunter thing. Deal 2 damage to a character. If it kills it, summon a random demon. That's awesome. Zero for taunt. Whenever you play a card, gain plus one plus one. Uh, that's, we have that in the Night Jogger deck. I think I only have one, though, so it's going to be awesome. Battle cry, silence a minion. And battle cry, silence, silence a minion. Alright, thank you for watching my video. Uh, as mentioned in the beginning, I have some information on a special giveaway. I've got a code for a free month of Xbox Live. 
um, which I would really love to give away to one of my subscribers, seeing as though we hit over 300 in three weeks, I believe. Um, so that's 100 people a week. I'm super happy with that, and I just want to give it back to my subscribers. So I will be posting a video on Monday, July 1st, uh, just like I do every Monday. Now, when that video goes up, be sure that you are the first per person to comment Hearthstone on the video. I'm not sure what the video is going to be about as far as what game, but if you comment the word Hearthstone, be the first one to comment and you will get a free month of Xbox Live. Um, I will send you the code probably through YouTube. Um, we'll be in contact though. So I will let you guys know who wins that and make sure you like this video, subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified on Monday, July 1st when that video comes up so you can be the first person to comment the word Hearthstone. Thanks for watching. Bye.